This morning we're going to learn how to update statistics using a sample. And one of the things about in uh, T-SQL <clears throat> is that we can specify a sample um, either with rows or with percent. And in some ways, when we're upstating a statistic on uh, a table, updating statistics on a table, I should say, um, generally speaking, if we allow SQL Server to do it, it will do it correctly. There will be those exceptional times in which we will, we will actually want to specify. And that's when we know our data very well. For instance, number one and number two, when we know what's statistically significant and um, the amount of time something takes and the basically the payoff for it. So there are uh, situations in which we may only want to uh, sample a very small percent because we know that that's actually what's going to result or yield results instead of yielding a lot. So I'm just going to go over the syntax of how that works. Let's suppose that we had a table and we happen to know that if we sample 10%, that's going to give us an accurate picture. Um, or let's just say, and this is kind of extreme, but just 25 rows. Um, these are the, and this is only to demonstrate the syntax. There would be absolutely no reason for this, but um, we can pass in the update statistics, the table name, and then with sample, and we can specify uh, the rows or the percent if we want. We can also do a full scan as well. So we could say with full scan. And basically what that would do is that's the equivalent of saying update statistics with 100%. Okay, so there would really never be any, unless you just wanted to, there'd never really be any reason to, uh, to specify with sample 100% since that's what full scan accomplishes. Uh, so it's one of those things that it depends on your data set. If, as you know your data set more, you may find, and this is just something in general, that what C SQL Server's default or SQL Server's assumptions may not always be um, entirely accurate. That being said, more often than not, it will be. This is not something that you have to spend a lot of time worrying about. The, the places that I've seen this very applicable is in situations in which you, let's say we eliminate all the data in a table. So let's say we truncate a table, we load some data, or we put new data in, or we pass new daily data as a case in point. And we realize that when we update the statistics, that if we update by a specific sample, um, that it will actually be able to report accurately. In other words, we'll have, we'll have everything optimized in that case. That's when it's very useful. It's not really useful. Um, I haven't seen it apl applicable in situations in which, let's say, we have a table that has data, you know, for the last 20 or 30 years. Um, there might be situations in which it is, but that's generally not something. I can generally start with the assumption that SQL Server is doing a good job. But if we're constantly refreshing data in a table, that seems to be a situation in which, in some cases, and again, there's still that in some cases, uh, this can be very useful to specify. So it really depends on the situation. Uh, just play around with it, test it, and it's one of those things that it's, it's good to have in the back of your mind, especially if it's a situation which is taking too much time or it's not yielding the results that you want, you can always take a look at it.